Hi, I'm Allison Cardona for the ASPCA, and this adorable little dog is Brittany. Brittany was abandoned by her owners simply because she had an unexpected litter of puppies. But she's here now, and we're going to get her on her way to find a new, loving, and permanent home. Brittany's also going to help me show you our new state-of-the-art facility, 6,000 square feet. It's one of the best of its kind in the country. What do you think, Brittany? Are you ready? Come on, let's go. Before we head to the adoption center, we'll need to pay a visit to our vet to make sure you're healthy, and to our behavior expert to make sure you're ready for adoption. Then we'll pop by the operating room to make sure there are no more puppies in your future. But don't worry, you'll get lots of TLC and even a new look. Wow, Brittany, look at you. It's so hard to imagine that someone didn't want her. All right, Brittany, now it's time for her to get a little R&R here at one of the country's finest state-of-the-art adoption centers. Come on. Our innovative glass-fronted puppy pens, no more cage environment, have been specially retrofitted with sniff holes so that you can check out potential adopters or take in a savory dog treat. We've also gone as far as to pump in fresh air 12 times every hour and design quieter rooms built with noise-reducing glass and sound-absorbent acoustic ceilings to reduce your stress and help you sleep better. And you'll love this. You'll be fed three times a day, and there'll be lots of people that come by to give you all the hugs and kisses that you can handle. These great folks will also take you for walks and keep your area nice and clean. You'll have your very own comfy bed to lounge around on. And you won't believe this but we're even going to pipe in animal-friendly sounds for your listening enjoyment. Now that's what I call a five-star adoption center. There will be lots of dog friends to keep you company, too. Did you know that you're one of 50,000 unwanted animals that will be surrendered in New York City this year? Fortunately, our newly renovated adoption center can now house up to 300 dogs and cats at one time. All right, why don't you stay here for a second, and I'll show everyone around the kitty area. Here we are at one of the country's finest and most contemporary urban cat adoption centers. We have six plush community cat rooms that replace the old metal cages. These rooms can house up to 75 cats at one time and feature terrazzo floors and lots of cushy multi-tiered kitty pads. And just like the dogs, our feline guests receive lots of TLC from volunteers and staff alike. And for more individual attention, we also have 24 individual cat habitats, each outfitted with all the comforts of a home. In all, our new adoption center, credited as one of the best of its kind in North America, was designed with two main things in mind, to reduce stress on the animals and to boost adoption. Speaking of which, I wonder how little Brittany's doing. All she needs now is to get adopted. Why don't we go check on her in the dog area? This looks like it might be a perfect match. This is great, but before Brittany and I get too excited, there's one last thing we need to do. Hi. Brittany's potential new mom would love to adopt Brittany, but she already has two dogs at home, so she'll need to come back to the center tomorrow with her dogs to make sure that Brittany and her other dogs are compatible. This playroom has been specially designed to ensure a successful adoption. We want to make sure that animals that leave the shelter don't end up back here. And, by the looks of things, these two are going to be just fine. Today is a good day. It's a good day for Brittany and her new mom, and it's a good day for the ASPCA. Hi. 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 I mean, Look let's face her. it, this is what it's all about. <laughs> With the vital help of our valued supporters, we were able to build this incredible new adoption center so that we could save more animals in need. And, as you can see, it's working. After all, we are their voice. And this center has given our life-saving work a much-needed boost. 
And Brittany is living proof of that. Aren't you, girl? After a long and lonely journey, this cute little dog is healthy, she's spayed, she's all cleaned up. And today, rescued from a life of neglect and possibly even euthanasia, Brittany is finally going home.